You're born again, so you've got the spirit of God, so go for it. Hello, Parameter. <laughs> Hello, Parameter. Hello. Good afternoon. So we come here because we'd like to testify to you that all of us here in our ministry, we've been changed by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. By accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, there is power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is why we'd like to let you know and declare into your hearing right now that we need Jesus Christ in order for our lives to be changed. We, we were once before in the world, meaning we were once before in sins. We were once before in the same troubles as the people here who doesn't have Jesus Christ in their lives. That's what we were before. But when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we have accepted the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit now resides in us. That is why we are here. We are here to testify to you that Jesus Christ is our Lord, is our King, and He will definitely save you from all of your sins. He will definitely save you and draw you out of your troubles. That is our testimony to all of you who doesn't have Jesus Christ yet in their lives. You know what? It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science in order for you to accept Jesus Christ. It's not very hard to accept Jesus Christ in your lives right now. He already died on the cross for you. You know, it's only, it's only up to you right now. You just have to open your hearts. The Lord Jesus Christ is setting up a life for you. And He wants you to choose that life that He is intending for you you know his plans are good for you jesus christ loves you so much you know jesus christ loves you so much and he wants us to be part of the kingdom of god i wouldn't be able i wouldn't be able to take you to the kingdom of god or kingdom of heaven it's only jesus christ it's only jesus christ you just have to have that leap of faith in him just like what, what that um, thief on the right hand, when Jesus Christ was crucified on that cross, he, there is a thief on the right hand side of Jesus Christ on the cross as well. And he believed Jesus Christ. He believed Jesus Christ because he knows that it's already his last time, last time on earth. And he doesn't know where he is going right after. My friends, if you are in a deathbed with someone in a deathbed as well, you know, you cannot ask him where, he, you, he cannot give you an assurance where are you going both. You know, it's only Jesus Christ is going to give you an assurance that you can be part of heaven. You just have to believe and accept him. You just have to repent of your sins. Turn away from all of those wicked ways and accept Him in your life today. Jesus Christ loves you so much. His grace is abounding right now here in Parramatta. He wants you to hear this message of hope for all of you, people of Parramatta. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Just look unto Him. That is His will in order for us to look unto Him and draw draw to that cross draw to that cross where all of our sins are already crucified he bore all of our sins he carried all our burdens we just need to cast all our anxieties all our troubles in him that is how good and merciful our god is but for us we just have to believe we just have to believe and humble ourselves before the Lord, repent of our sins, and accept Jesus Christ in your life today. Come, people of Parramatta, accept Jesus Christ. God bless you.